Hello everyone, I'm Leon Thomas Lewick with your Political News Roundup for Tuesday, November 16th. Guilty as charged was the verdict today against Congressman Charles Rangel of New York. A House ethics panel convicted the veteran Democratic Congressman from Harlem on 11 of 13 counts against him. Rangel walked out of the committee's hearing yesterday and was not in the chamber to hear today's verdict. The panel found Rangel guilty on a series of ethics charges, including failure to report income to the IRS, improperly using his office for campaign fundraising, and others. Rangel's 80 years old. He was re-elected to his 20th term in Congress this month. The full ethics committee will now consider punishment, which could include a fine or denial of congressional privileges, but would not include expulsion or imprisonment. On the other side of the Capitol, the two major parties decided in the Senate to leave their leadership in place. Democrats voted to keep Nevada Senator Harry Reid as majority leader and Republican Mitch McConnell of Kentucky to remain as minority leader once the new Congress is seated in January. Reid sounded a conciliatory note saying, it's not the Democratic way or the highway, it's not the Republican way or the highway. He said the goal was to fix the economy. Republicans did pick up six Senate seats in this month's elections, but that was not enough to take the majority from the Democrats. There was a big political about face today from Senator McConnell. He said he would support extending a ban on so-called earmark projects. McConnell said voters sent a strong message that earmarks should be stopped. The earmarks, or pork barrel spending on home district projects by members of Congress, are another big focus on Capitol Hill as the lame duck session gets underway. Overseas, Ireland says it does not need a financial bailout. Other European leaders are not so sure. Fears about Ireland's government debt sent stock markets around the globe lower today. Irish Prime Minister Brian Cohen told Parliament, however, that the country has made no application for external support for its struggling banks. Cohen's remarks came as the finance ministers of the European Union met in Brussels to talk about Ireland's crisis. There could be no bailout without an official request from Ireland, which is struggling with 13 percent unemployment. That's your political roundup for Tuesday, November 16th. I'm Leon Thomas Lewick. Stay logged on to RTTNews.com for more on these and other political and financial news stories throughout the day.